of you, now you get all of you, you can have got all of me, I don't know what's going on, we're so busy. Uh, Chelsea's going to get up any minute now, so to be really quick. Okay, um, I was calling to find out how are you doing? Did you have that meeting with Don? Did you talk to him? How did things go? Let me know. Hope all's well. All right, call me. Love you. Oh, send me a voice note. Whatever is easier for you. Okay, love you, sweetie. Take care. things that you, you want me to do okay okay yeah sure uh-huh let me let me get my pen one sec uh-huh yeah adding it to my to-do list right now uh-huh listen it yeah uh-huh uh-huh right okay yeah okay understood all right cool yeah no problem, I'll, I'll add that, and I'll do that right now. What's that? Yeah, of course, I I know your time zone, so I'm, I'm gonna make sure and get it done according to your time zone. I, I'm working on it right now, honestly, yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem, sure, no problem, cool. You take care, all right, okay, bye. Sorry, Mr. Calls. Um, I'm so so sorry for the late response to your voice note. I um, <sighs> this is hard. And this is hard, Evelyn. Doing this, trying to do this. This is so hard. I am. Um, I honestly don't know how much I have in me left to keep trying. Oh God, it's been 15 years. I've been trying to become a successful screenwriter for 15 years. And I feel like I have nothing to show. I was thinking that um, chasing your dreams sounds so, so sexy at the start, you know, so inspiring, so life affirming in your 20s. And it could push you for a bit in your 30s, but when, like, you pass 35, you know, you start to wonder if this dream really is something that's going to bless you, embrace you, you know, I just, you know, Eva, I feel, I feel, I feel sometimes like this dream thing is, like, a sadist you know a sadist I feel honestly that's the best thing I could describe it as I think my dream to become a screenwriter is like 
the most sadistic thing ever because I feel like it's laughing at me, mocking at me and saying like, hey, Elisa, look at you, you know, you, you, you actively put off having a family and all these different things in order to chase and pursue me all these years and every single time you make a move toward me, I am moving further and further away from you. That is what it feels like, you know. Sadistic. <laughs> and at the same time, I feel like, you know, it's just been so ingrained in me, though, to chase after this dream that I don't know how else to be honest to God. I don't know how else to live. It's just like a part of me now. It's like my essence. I genuinely don't know who I will be without this dream. I don't know what to do. I mean, I. it would have been like so easy if my dream was something that could like instantly earn me a living. I mean, why did I have to choose screenwriting? Or what should I say, why did it choose me? You know, why ever? Why? I mean, I've spent 15 years living this dual life. Like, on the one hand, whatever, you know, I could do to earn money to survive. Then on the other hand, there's this dream, you know, and so much of, you know, of my time still cannot be devoted to it because I have done and this job that I hate, but I have to earn a living. And I just... And see, so the thing is... That's my boss always my boss it's so funny i sent out so many so many pitch decks about my scripts and all these different things and i never get calls on that but i always get calls from dawn okay i have to go it's done right, i'll talk to you later i love you kiss chelsea for me say hi to brian i hope you're good you're good i'm so sorry that is about me this whole voice that was about me but how are things with you i really hope you're good i love you i miss you I love you, twin twin. Take care.